A resignation from Parliament and another in the city of Johannesburg. Yesterday, Tito Boweni stepped down as an MP while Action SA's leader, Herman Mashaba, ended his journey, short journey, as a councillor in Johannesburg. Now, according to the ANC, the former finance minister has landed a job at a prestigious private sector financial institution, while Mashaba uh, says he's moving on to focus on growing his party across all nine provinces with his eyes on 2024. But are we seeing a shift in the political landscape? Our guest political analyst and author, Dr. Ibrahim Harvey, joins us here to, uh, to help us understand the developments in the past day or so. Dr. Harvey, thanks very much indeed for your time. What do you make of Herman Mashaba's explanation about his reasons for stepping away from council? Well, I think it's a, a very clear indication of the confidence with which he's leading Action SA and as a result of doing well in the recent uh, elections last year, uh, you can see the, the, there's a tempo building up in the party so much so that I think he's looking towards 2014 to make a more formidable impact um, in those elections, 2024, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 2024. Uh, so, I mean, you know, he, he's familiar with the Joburg situation. He's been mayor before. I think it's a very significant uh, move by him and the party uh, that he's canvassed this thing completely in the party and they've given the go-ahead of uh, what the shape of things to come. I mean, in 2024, to show you how more combative uh, that election is going to be, and I think with it, a greater risk to the ANC perhaps losing power in 24. It's very significant, I think, well, certainly for the party and its plans for the future. Yeah, I imagine, though, the people who voted him in to be there, the electorate who wants him in council, will be disappointed. Yes, but uh, it's a, it's a short-sighted disappointment, I must tell you. Uh, he's very familiar, as I told you, with local government. I mean, he, he's probably thought, you know, this is boring for me to be sitting here. He's got big uh, schemes, and, and, and he's an ambitious guy in his own way, you know. Uh, the very fact that he started this party, you know. And uh, I think it's uh, the, the, the supporters and members should see the broader picture and the strategy behind his decision, which is, is long-term, and it's, uh, you know, to make a much more formidable impact. I think everyone is sensing the ANC is in a weak, vulnerable position, you know, and he's throwing everything into the ring of 2024. I think it, electoral politics, from that point of view, I think it makes perfect sense what he's done. And uh, I, I think sooner or later, probably those who feel, uh, you know, disappointed will begin to see the, the wisdom of that strategy, I think. Mm. Tito Mboweni, the end of his political career? Well, I'm not surprised. You know, Tito, even before he became Minister of Finance recently, I mean, he's had interests in the corporate world. He's been a consultant, Goldman Sachs, etc. I wasn't surprised, but I'll tell you something else. You must remember this decision by him to, 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 to relinquish his post as a member of parliament comes in the same month, you know, that you had this unprecedented, absolutely ridiculous, who could believe it, burning of parliament. And so many other things going wrong with the ANC in so many ways, you know, now the, uh, the SCOPA, uh, you know, wanting uh, to, to, to summon so, uh, to, to have the president of the country address regarding the, re uh, 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 the leaking of this very serious, very, very serious audio tapes, you know. So on the whole, the ANC, is in, the ANC could not have started the, any year in post party in South Africa worse than it has started this year. Look what has happened in the month of, of January. And it doesn't all go well for this party at all whatsoever, especially since it has elections in December. I, I'm not surprised whatsoever. I think it's the general crisis that's growing and deepening in the ANC so explosively that uh, Tito decided to call it a day and throw in his lot to the business world. He's always had business interests, you know. I'm not surprised. It's a long road to the elective conference in December. And as you say, already for the ANC, it's been an incredibly difficult start to the year. The next 10 months, no doubt, are, are going to, as they say, show the party flames. 
Yes, but it's the context within which we are going to approach those elections. I mean, this has been a very dramatic month. Look at the SIU report of last week. Oh, man. Have you seen what the SIU report? In Limpopo alone, a tender of what, over 100 million rand in personal protective equipment. Can you believe it? To combat, they've discovered that SIU report has uh, dis uh, uh, discovered a over 100 million rand tender fraud and ir irregularity in Limpopo. There is a lot more in the SIU report. Now, if you were to combine the SIU report with what is coming and today, the second leg of the Zondo Commission of Inquiry report is released. Oh, man, you know what, uh, really, I think, uh, and you have this factionalist battle in the ANC, <coughs> you know, and the oncoming election in December. We're in for a very explosive and dramatic year in this country, I can tell you, without yeah. any doubt. Forever. Yeah, let's not forget the to and fro between Lindy Wessasulu and the president as well. Yes, well, you know, that, that is, to me, it's a manifestation of the factionless battle. I don't believe, you know, I have a column at News 24, and I penned a piece on Sisulu's, uh, you know, sudden, sudden, uh, you know, uh, anti-judiciary uh, 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 anti sent sentiments that she, she expressed and against the Constitution, when in fact all along for 20 years plus she has said nothing whatsoever. But I do not believe, since you raised the Sisulu matter, I do not believe that that article that she penned was just something that came out of the blue. I believe that Sisulu penned that as part of, she's conversed with others in that so-called radical economic transformation uh, faction, and that they gave her the go-ahead, I gather, me, to release that article uh, and to, to, to thereby give notice. I believe that as this uh, election approaches, she's going to stand as a candidate for the uh, pres presidency of the ANC in December. And that that article was an indication of that, no matter what she will say subsequently or others in the ANC, I don't believe that article came from nowhere. That article to me is part of a strategy to prepare the ground for Sisulu standing against Ramaphosa in December. Well, certainly there have been a number of analysts who have echoed exactly those sentiments. But yeah, as you say, an incredibly busy year already. It's only the 1st of February. Who knows what's still to come as we build up to the uh, 55th elective conference of the ANC set down for December. Dr. Ibrahim Harvey, let me thank you for your time this morning. Political analyst and author.